Welcome to digitalaccesspass.com. My name is Pina Prashant. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how DAPS group account management feature works and how you can set it all up. Now, DAPS built-in group account feature will allow you to create and sell group memberships where users can purchase a group membership account uh, that comes with set number of seats for sub-accounts. Group owners can manage membership access for the sub-accounts that are under them. They can give them access, they can remove their access, and you can configure the products and services that the group owners can manage. Let me show you how this works and how you can set it up. This is the DAP products page, and you can create a group membership product just like any other product in DAP. So here you can see I have two group membership products here. Let me show you the setting. I'm going to select this one, click on edit. So here you can see this is the group product in DAP and the type of account. There are two options, standard and group membership. This one I have set this to group membership and total number of sub accounts the group account owner can create is set to 100. Everything else is standard a product creation process in DAP. The only thing you need to make sure is type of account is set to group membership and you need to set the total number of seats uh, account owners of this group can create. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do when you create a group membership product in DAP. Under the billing and access, you can see I have set this up as a subscription product, $10 a month. All right, so this is my group product in DAP. You can create as many group membership products in DAP as you want. There is no limit. Here you can see I have another group product here called group two, and this is set up uh, as a group membership product and total number of sub accounts is set to 200 and billing and access, this is set to $20 a month. So you can set up multiple group membership products in DAP with different number of seats. What you do with it, it's completely up to you. The next step is to create group rules where you can specify uh, what products the group owners are allowed to manage. So go to products group membership page. It will bring you to a page like this. And under the group rules tab, you can select the product here. So here I'm going to select this one. So if the group owner has access to this group membership product, they can give them access to the same product as them, or they can give them access to a completely different product. So you can then select this one and allow them to manage completely different set of products. That's completely up to you. So here I'm going to select these two courses and the group owners of this group membership product are allowed to give their sub accounts access to course one and course two. All right. So this is just a, a demo site, but here's how you can let DAP know the products that the group owners are allowed to manage. All right. So I'm going to select these two and click on create. So here you can see it says course one and course two. I already have another rule for group number two where the owners of this group are allowed to manage all of these products. So here you will find a list of all of your group membership products and the products that they are allowed to manage and give access to, to their sub accounts. The next thing you need to do is go to DAP member pages and click on group management to create a group account owner facing page where they can add and remove sub accounts. So here you can see uh, there is a customizer right here. You can click and edit and change it to whatever you want it to say. This is the table that will be displayed in the front end uh, to group owners when they log in. And here they can click on add new sub account to add a new sub account. You can change the text to say whatever you want it to say and add in bulk. If they click on this, they can add multiple sub accounts at once and then go to customize invite member form. This is the form that will show up in a pop up when they click on add new sub account. So here you can see this is the text. You can change this to say whatever you want it to say. Similarly, you can customize the bulk add a form right here. This will show up in a pop up when uh, group owners click on add in bulk and you can customize this form here. Next. You can customize all the messages that are displayed and save. So when you do this, you're going to get a short code and you can publish it on any WordPress page. When your group owners log in and they go to this page, they will find a list of all the sub accounts under them and they can add new sub accounts. They can remove sub accounts so they can manage their sub accounts on this page. So this is a WordPress page and I have published the short code right here. I'm logged in as a group owner who has access. Uh, to this group membership product. You can see there are two buttons here, add new sub account, add in bulk. This group owner has already added all of these sub accounts and given them access to these products. They can click on add new sub account to add a new sub accounts. The products that they are allowed to manage depends on the group rule that you have set in the back end. And the add in bulk will allow them to add multiple sub accounts all at once. So here you can see the total number of seats is 100 and this group owner has used up six seats and still has 94 remaining seats. If they run out of seats and they want to purchase additional seats, they can do that or they can remove some of their existing sub accounts and add a new sub account. Now say that you want to synchronize the access dates between the group owners and the sub accounts uh, so that when a group owner makes a payment, subscription payment, you want DAP to automatically extend 
sub accounts access to the group owner assigned products or when a group owner adds a sub account you want the sub accounts access end date to match group owners access end date no matter when they add the sub account say that you want the access dates to match you can configure this in the dab setup config page group membership tab here you can see there are two options upon a successful payment automatically extend sub accounts access to the group owner assigned product you can set this to yes and when a group owner adds a sub account set the sub accounts access end date to the group owner's product access end date. You can set this to yes as well. By default, uh, these options are set to no. So the way it works is by default, uh, when a group owner gives access to a sub account, then the access end date of the sub account depends on the product that they are getting access to. Whatever is the product setting, that will give them access based on that and not based on the account owner's access dates. So you can change that default here by setting these to yes. Now say that you're using DAP's built-in LMS feature to create and offer online courses from your membership site. And say that you have group account owners and you want the group account owners to be able to see the course progress made by their students, their sub accounts. You can do this too. All you have to do is go to DAP products courses page. You can see here, there is an option group owner short code, click on it. It will bring you to a page like this. Here you can create a group owner facing short code and you can publish it in your members area so when group owners log in they'll be able to uh, see all the students they have and all the courses they have enrolled in how much progress they have made let me show you how you can create it so just click on this button and first thing you need to do is select a group product this short code is at group membership level so if you offer more than one then you need to uh, create a short code uh, for each group membership level now here i have selected the group product for which i want to create the short code and you can configure all the options you want to display. All of this will be displayed to the group account owner when they log in. They can see the student course start date, join date, if you configure this as yes, and display certificate. All the certificates their sub accounts have earned, course progress. The reset button will allow them to reset the course progress of their students and the lesson start date, lesson completed date. All of this you can turn on and off. Now, if you also have quizzes in your lessons and you can create your quizzes using Smart Quiz Builder and add it to your lessons in DAP. So if you have done that and you want to display the quiz results, quiz score to the group owner, you can do that too. You can set this to yes, and that's a default. And you can see here, this is the table. This is a customizer. You can click and edit, change the text. Don't remove these merge tag because in the front end, DAP will replace it with the actual course name. So if a group member has sub accounts and they have access to three different courses there will be three different tables uh, for each course and each table will have the sub accounts it will show the student name email status which is the course progress if they have enrolled in the course if they have started the course start date they can see the lesson details if they click on this button they can see all the lessons they have completed the ones that are in progress and they can reset uh, to the start of the course so the students can take the course again all of this can be customized there is a customizer right here and then you can go ahead and save it it'll give you a short code and again this is at group account level so if you offer multiple group memberships create one for each group product and publish it in your members area so your group owners can see the student progress let me show you how this looks in the front end so here i am logged in as a group account owner who is allowed to manage these two courses this is the first one this is the second one these are the sub accounts under this course. These are the sub accounts uh, that have access to this course. And this group account owner can see the course progress made by these students, uh, students that have access to these two courses. So the group account owner can see the student name, email, status, if it's in progress or they have uh, completed the course or just enrolled. They can see all that. They can see when they started the course. And when they click on view lesson details, it will show them a detailed breakdown and they can see all the lessons, uh, which ones they have started, which ones they have completed. And if you have an assessment quiz or a scoring quiz attached to the lesson, then they can see the quiz results. They can see the score. So if they click on this button, it will show them a detailed quiz report right here. They can see the answers. They can see the student name, email, course name, the quiz name. All right. So they can see all of this on this page. That's it. This is how it works. And there's just one last thing I want to show you. This is the back end of DAP members page. Here you will find a list of all the members uh, that you already have. And you will find all the group owners, all the sub accounts on this page. Say that you want to find all the sub accounts of a specific group owner. Then all you have to do is select group account here, enter the email address of that person, click on find, and it will show you all the sub accounts that are under uh, this group owner. You can see here, this one is the parent account. All of this are sub accounts. 
and say that you want to edit the group account and you want to increase the number of seats all you have to do is click on the name it will bring you to the edit member page and here you can see it says sub account parent and uh, product name seats total number of seats uh, that they have already used and how much is still remaining you can increase this number you can increase the total number of seats if you want on this page also say that you have some existing users and you want to assign them to a specific group owner all you have to do is go to the dap members manage page find the user click on their name it will bring you to the edit member page and here you can see it says user group type is set to sub account user group parent id so here you can assign a specific group owner uh, to this it will show you a list of all the group owners that you have in dap so you can assign this user to a specific group owner and a product that this group owner has this is how it works currently but we are going to keep making updates and keep making this uh, even better for you my name is veena prashant i hope this was helpful if you have any questions please do let us know i have a facebook group you are welcome to join i'll talk to you soon bye for now